I've lived a lot of places. Alaska and Montana and Kentucky and Idaho and Arizona and New Mexico and then most of my childhood in Chile. Because I move so much, place is very, very important to me. Sometimes I would make a friend or feel sort of at home, but often not. And with my mother, I couldn't really invite people home because she was, you know, sometimes violent, sometimes incoherent. Everybody who knows my work knows my mother, who was pretty rotten, um, but fascinating. I, I, I do love her. The story I wrote in Mexico when I was taking care of my sister before she died of cancer in 92. Mama. It seemed that moving to Chile would be a dream come true for Mama. She loved elegance and beautiful things, always wished they knew the right people. Daddy had a prestigious job. We were wealthy now, with a lovely house and many servants. She went out some at first, but she was simply too scared. Hair was wrong, her clothes were wrong. She bought expensive imitation, antique furniture, and bad paintings. She was terrified of the servants. We never went near her, nobody did. She'd fly into rages, cruel, irrational. We thought nothing we did was good enough for her, and she did hate to see us do well, to grow and accomplish things. We were young and pretty and had a future. You see, do you see how hard it was for her, Sally? Yes, it was like that. Poor pitiful mama. You know, I'm like her now. I get mad at everyone because they're working and living. Sometimes I hate you because you're not dying. Isn't that awful? No, because you can tell me this. And I can tell you I'm glad it's not me that's dying. Mama never had a soul to tell anything to. Sally's crying softly. Pobrecita, pobrecita, she says. If only I could have been able to speak to her, if I had let her know how much I loved her. Me? I have no mercy. <laughs>